Hey everyone, it's Sunday Night Soul Time for August 18th, 2019. I hope that you're having an incredible weekend and looking forward to the week ahead. So we have a really fun topic tonight. We're gonna to talk about manifestation. Um, one of you reached out, which I love, so always do that. Um, kind of in response to what we were talking about last week when we were talking about you know taking ownership for creating your day. As an empowered being, you always want to affirm what you're creating take ownership for your active role as a creator, not just being in the state where the world's something happening to you, which we've talked a lot about before. So um, what I want to do is review five steps for you for manifesting. For those of you that don't have a consistent practice or that are new to really um, taking an active role in, in manifesting what you want in your life. And this process can work for the big and for the small. So for the new house you want down to, you know, the meeting that you have today that you want to go positive, you know, it works for both. And so um, this is a process that you can use after you've established your goal, whatever it is you're looking to manifest. So let's take, um, let's take something big. Let's take a new home, you know, for your family, right? So there are five steps are the first thing you want to do is you want to visualize. So you want to see it. You want to see the home in as much detail as you can, okay? And in that moment, you're really creating. You're creating with your imagination in that moment, okay? And if we use the meeting example, again, visualize, again, the outcome. You know, the house is the outcome on that one. In the meeting, the outcome of what you want to happen in this meeting. And again, use as much detail as you can. In that moment, you're creating via your imagination. The second thing you want to do is you want to feel the excitement, the love energy in that outcome. So house, okay, feel how good it would feel for your family to have so much more space. Or if it's a house with a pool, you know, the having your holidays there, whatever it is, but like feel the joy that it brings in service to yourself and others, whatever this thing is. Back on the meeting example, feel how good it feels to have this meeting help others, right? You know, or how good you feel to have done something that empowers you, but feel that feeling, feel that feeling, okay? And then the third thing that you wanna do is you want to bring it into the now. So if you're just staying with the visualization, you don't want to have in your mind that this is something in the future. You wanna see and feel it as if it, you're in that house right now. Okay. With the meeting, you want to feel that you're in that meeting right now and how good it feels that when it's going in the way you want it to. So you want to bring it into the now. You can also do this via an affirmation. Like if with a home, you would say, you wouldn't say, I am going to have a huge new house for me and my family. You're going to, you would say, me and my family are living in a brand new house right now and it feels amazing but you want to bring it in the now. You don't want to keep it as something in the future. That is key. That is key with manifesting, okay? And then four and five are about surrender. So um, when, it, when manifestation, why it's difficult for so many is they get fixated on how it's going to happen. You want to let all of that go. So the four is let go of the how, and the five is turn it over. You know, give it to the universe, give it to the divine. Just say, here, take it. I'm, I'm putting out this image. It looks, it feels like this. I'm affirming it's happening now. Show me, guide me there. You do the how. I'm not doing the how, but show me, you know, what steps to take and how to get there. So that's it. So recapping real quick, you know, one is visualize. Two is feel the feeling. Three is make it in the now. Four is let go of the how. And five is surrender. Surrender and act, you know, surrender, but be guided in how you're being shown to take steps to get there. That's it. So that's a quick and simple one tonight. So let's do a meditation about manifesting. So I'll say right now, think of something you want to manifest in your life. Bring that up in your consciousness right now. And let's do this together. So again, if you're not in a comfortable space where you have privacy, go ahead and pause this and get there right now. And then go ahead and join me in closing your eyes. And just start to let go of your body and relax, get yourself comfortable. Let go of any stress or tension in your body and just unwind. And start to do some deep breaths together as one. So breathe in 
and release. <sighs> Breathe in. Release. <sighs> One more. Breathe in. And release. <sighs> and start to imagine that there's a beautiful light in the center of the earth. Feel your oneness with this light. And let's start to invite this light up. And as, it, as we do, we'll ask that it clear away anything not in alignment with manifesting the highest good in your life. And so feel that light coming all the way up and entering through the bottom of your feet, your calves, your knees, your legs and thighs, your hips, your lower back, stomach, chest, shoulders, arms, going all the way up into your head, Clearing away limiting beliefs that tell you you're not a creator. You're not a manifester. And that light goes out the top of your head and it goes up, up, up to the center of the earth. I mean, to the center of the sky going up, up, up. Where it meets a great central sun, divine source. Feel your oneness. And then allow this light to come back down like liquid gold and entering in the top of your head, going down your throat your shoulders and arms. Your stomach, your back, your hips, your thighs, your knees, your calves, and going out the bottom of your feet where it goes back to the center of the earth bounces back up and just goes right to the center of your heart and then feel your heart opening you might imagine like a golden sun there in the center of your chest that just expands and then allow the light to cover the entire room you're in the entire home you're in the entire city you're in, the state, the entire country, and then the entire globe. And just feel your oneness. And just feel how infinite you are here and that anything is possible. Anything that's in your heart that wants to be created is there for a reason. Really listen in and just imagine that there's a door on each side of your heart, the front, the back, each side, top and bottom. And just gently imagine all these doors opening at once as the light in your heart shines further. And tune in, I want you to ask yourself right now, what do I really want? What is something, it might be something material, it might be a new job, relationship, or it might be a quality, you know, I want more 
peace in my life, whatever it is, just feel in and recognize what this is right now. And whatever pops up is what wants to be created. So trust that and just listen to that. And at the same time, we're going to ask your manifestation life guide to gently come in and help you with this. and help you to really manifest this into your life. So whatever this is that popped up, it's what wants to be created and I want you to just start to visualize it. Visualize what it looks like. So if it's something material, start seeing it. If it's something you're looking to achieve, like a new job or relationship, visualize what that looks like when you've achieved it. And if it's just a quality that you want more of in your life, just visualize what your lo life looks like when you're living this. So go ahead and create as much detail as you can. What you're doing, who's around you, where you are, Add as much context and contextual information as you can and just going to quietly allow you to do that for a little bit. Great, add in any additional details. And now that you've got that, I want you to tune in and just start feeling what it feels like. How does this make you feel good? How does it make others feel good? What is the highest service element? of this in terms of how it serves yourself and others. Find that feeling and just sit here with the feeling. Sit here with the feeling. Really allow yourself to feel it. Good, good. Keep feeling it. And then I want you to imagine, we're gonna ask that anything within you that's putting this as something in the future is collapsed right now. And just, you might even see like a bridge going, leading to this like in the distant future. And we're gonna collapse that. Imagine that bridge, that path collapsing and imagine it almost flying up and anchoring right now into the present reality. And we say, now, I am living this now. This is happening right now. And feel it right now as if it is right now, present in your life and real. Feel that. Feel that. And then we're gonna ask your guide to help you now release anything that's attached to how this is going to happen. So you might just imagine like you're handing over a bag of weight, <laughs> garbage, of any ideas or fixations on how this has to happen. That's all fear-based energy. And so just imagine that this is just being kind of sucked out of you overhead, almost like a vacuum cleaner, just sucking out anything that's fixated on how this is going to happen. Let go of all of that because as you let go, you're deepening your ability to trust and believe that it just is. Let go, let go. Good. And 
And as you do that, we're just going to take in a final affirmation of surrender. As you just say, I affirm this is, and I hand it over completely to the divine, the universe. I surrender it all to you. You can, again, imagine you're handing this over and entrusting it to the universe to create for you. And you just say, show me my next step. So we're going to ask your guide, what is my next step towards this? What mini little action can I take? And just notice what if you receive anything. And just again, feel the joy of knowing this is and has been created. And we say, and so it is. And just start to imagine now all this beautiful energy that's been around you just coming and compressing in your body, anchoring in. You can imagine golden roots coming out of the bottom of your feet, going to the center of the earth. And just feel the confidence, feel your power as a creator. And let's do a few grounding breaths together. So breathe in and release. One more, breathe in and release you can wiggle your fingers your toes and join me when you're ready welcome back so you can use that practice anytime for things big and small you can use it daily you can listen to this meditation again and really use it as a way to guide and own your power as creator so i thank you for being here tonight if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out as a reminder, my new show called uh, Soul Purpose with Jessica Joins launches tomorrow. Um, if you want to watch it live, uh, scary. <laughs> uh, find me on Facebook. It's Jessica Joins Coach. And uh, we'll be streaming it live there. If not, I'll be posting it later on. You can watch it after. But anyway, I hope you have a beautiful week ahead. And um, here if you need anything. Okay, bye-bye for now.